Hello folks, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of the Abyss. I'm OdinSpec33. Let's start off with a skit called Going Home. Going Home. Tales like, I'll get you back to your manor. It looks like I'll swear word better. Or you better. Tears all sad, I'm sorry. It looks like, yeah, I don't get out often. He gets out never. He was forced to stay in his manor. <laughs> Tears like, do you want to go home? I look like an owl like this. It looks like, of course I do. And Tears like, let's stop talking then. And then, if you want to go for a stroll, go somewhere safe. It's like a lesson. <laughs> it's like on TV. Want to go for a stroll? Don't go in the dark woods. Alright. So, we're going to head over here. And we're going to get some secret treasure. Uh, we're going to avoid enemies. Oh, stupid monster skit. Oh, better keep out of my way. Tears like you're getting better at beating them. <laughs> Looks like I was just startled. I'm gonna paraphrase from now on so you know these skits. Looks like I got Master Van as my teacher. They can't touch me. And then, and then Tear gets all upset. All right. So in here we got uh, some Gald. 300 of it. And a life bottle. That'll uh, cure you from death. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, we got some more uh, some more hidden and goodies. If you go through here, I think there's a cape? Yeah. So we'll go into our equipment screen for the first time. So in here, we got our equipment, our wooden sword, our stick. Uh, this This armor looks really cool, but it's actually a piece of crap. So, we'll put the cape on. It provides amazing five extra defense. Two phonic defense, which is magic. Alright, I don't think there's anything over here, so we're not gonna worry. We're just gonna go over here, proceed with some more story. Uh, look, look so we're eyed. It's about time. I'm sick of this place. He's also a wine bag. Someone's coming. <laughs> don't, don't tell me you're with the Dark Wings. Uh oh, it's the Dark Wings. The Dark Wings. Dark Wing Duck. They're bandits. <laughs> two men and a woman. Wait, there's only two of you. <laughs> don't go comparing me to some pathetic bandit. Yes, you might upset the bandits. <laughs> hey. We lost our way. I like that line too. Tier has a lot of good little one-liners there. I'm a coachman. One of the wheels on my coach started acting up. Good comebacks, we basically. We lost our drinking water when the jug fell off, so I came here to draw some more. Of course. A coach, perfect. Do you go to the capital? Yeah, that's my last stop. Let's hit your ride. Awesome. I'm sick of walking. <laughs> yes, we don't know this area very well. Would that be all right with you? To the capital, it'll be twelve thousand gold apiece. You got enough on you? That's a lot of money. That's expensive. I like how when they say gold. It's like it's purposely done. It's really? felt like gold. Sounds cheap to me. <laughs> My dad'll take care of it when we get to the capital. Oh, it's just such a ridiculous currency. I'm sorry. That's no good. I need payment in advance. Take this. Take what? What's he what's he gonna do? Oh something shiny. Wow. This is some gem. All right, hop aboard. Huh, you got some nice stuff. Now I don't have to get my shoes all dirty. Oh, look at him, just just so arrogant. All right, uh, so we got a save point here. We got a chest here, has some money in it. So we're going to save it, and I'll see you back in a second. All right, uh, that gem that Tyr actually handed over, it was an accessory she was wearing. I could have showed it off. It actually increased her... Uh, her magic attack by a percentage, but now she doesn't have it anymore. It's not really useful right now anyway, so so we can get going. Alright, now we got a semi cutscene here. The ones on the weird on the world map look weird. <laughs> the weird map. <laughs> uh, what was that? I like how he's like, what was that? He just sits there. He doesn't look out the window or anything. Oh, some. You're finally awake. Some big old ship. 
shooting at another coach. Hey, that coach is under attack. The army's chasing those bandits. It's those dark wings I mistook you for. You there. Move your coach before you get caught in the crossfire. <laughs> Tears like a statue. She just doesn't even move. Like she doesn't bend or anything. She just kind of sways. <laughs> Commander, enemy has crossed Fortelro Bridge. They're putting gunpowder on the bridge. See, there's terms you can understand. <laughs> my my, they intend to drop the bridge, do they? Phone slot activation detected. Yeah, here's terms you won't understand. Spells. Fifth phone on is fire. Uh, uh, breaks, I guess. <laughs> Tartarus, full stop. Phonic barrier activated. I don't know. Whoa, that was cool. <laughs> wow. That's Malkuth's newest land dreadnought, the Tartarus. M Malkuth? What's the Malkuth military doing hanging around here? What do you mean? Of course they're here. There's been <laughs> no end to the rumors that Kim is going to start a war any day now. They've tightened security in this area. Wait a minute. This isn't Kim Laska? No crap. What are you talking <laughs> about? This is the Malkuth Empire, the West Rugnica Plains. Hang on! I thought this coach was headed for the capital, Batical. <laughs> no, Grand Kokma, capital of Malkuth, and home to His Imperial Majesty, I like... Ian E. the Ninth. Why did he have to point that out? <laughs> hmm, I was mistaken. How can you be so calm about it? How could you make a mistake like that? I didn't recognize the area. What's your excuse? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I've been confined to the manor. I've never been outside. How the hell should I have known? You're sure acting strange. Are you two Kim Laskin? Maybe. No, we're from Malkuth. We have business in Batical. We were on our way there. Talk about bald-faced. <laughs> That's the other direction. Though. Look at his face. <laughs> if you're going to Kim Laska, I hope that's my thumbnail. South, this right here. The bridge. <laughs> Mind you, with that bridge out, you can't go back now. Are you serious? Now what do we do? We're passing through and gave to the east on the way to Grand Kokma. What do you two want to do? If we go all the way to Grand Kokma, we'll just wind up farther away. True. Let's stop in Engave and think about how to get back to Kim Laska. So we're gonna walk, actually. We'll walk to Engave and see the sights along the way. Not to see sights, but Engave I'm gonna show you where we're gonna walk. Take care now. He looks like all evil now. Alright, so there goes the coach. This is actually going to be our first time on the world map here. There aren't random encounters, but enemies will appear, similar to while we were in uh, in Tataru Valley, but you can avoid them, so it's okay. We're going to get this thing over here, that's why we're walking. You can see that little glowy spot over there? We can get over to it. Trying to avoid enemies on the map, and you get a whole bunch of items at these things here. It'll be more. Uh, you'll you'll realize why we need them later on. But I'm gonna show you all these little. There's a bunch of those on the map, and I'm gonna show you all of them. And once uh once we get to actually use like these items purposes, you'll understand why you want to find them. So let's follow the road here. Uh, I think we want to take this one right here. Alright, there's no voiceover in here. I don't know why. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> so, uh, while we're kind of in this little uh, crappy cutscene, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Zenoni11. If you've watched my channel before, you'll have seen her in other videos. She's my sister. Uh, she's been doing Kirby Superstar right now. And, uh,. Her last video she put up was, uh, it was me and her playing River City Ransom, and she's probably going to put more of those videos. Uh, she also does Kingdom Hearts, but uh, she hasn't been able to do it recently because I have the recording equipment, so I can do mine. 
but uh, so, something something tells me that she'll be able to uh, to do that soon. I don't know. So go check go check out her channel. Go subscribe to her. Uh, I'm sure she would appreciate it. Uh, she might join me possibly for some of these Tales of the Abyss episodes. And I'm not going to tell you about cooking. Basically, cooking you get health back after battles by cooking. <laughs> I know how to do it, so it's okay. So Zenonia might join me for some some videos, join me in combat, because uh whoa what the heck, why can't I move there? The game is made a lot easier if uh if you're playing with two people or more, I think. But we're gonna go to Endgave here. This is the next place we're going, this town. And we're gonna cut it right here. Get out of my way! Go in here so it's safe. So. Oh, I have lots of time. I've only been playing for 12 minutes. Let's go in. Alright, so, uh. This is a small little town. Lots of food here. It's a farming village. The best prices for food anywhere in this game you will find in Endgave the Grocer's Hamlet. This must be in Gave. No crap. Huh? You folks traveling on foot? Kind of crazy. You got a problem with that? No, I just mean with the bandits and monsters and all, most people come by coach. Could I ask you something? How can we get from here to Kim Laska? I heard Rotelro Bridge is out, so you'd have to head to the Kitesuer checkpoint in the south. Thank you. No problem. Bye. A <laughs> he just walks off. We won't be able to get through without passports. This could be a problem. It'll be fine. If I say I'm Duke Favre's son, they'll let us through in no time. But right hey, hope now, so. I want to check this place out. This is my first time in a city. <laughs> a city? Well, I suppose we do need to prepare a bit before we leave. Let's stay the night here. Alright, so, this is, uh, skit first, one sec. This is a crappy town, they have no place to sleep. Well, they probably don't. She has like, do you have to complain all the time? Oh, I want these bed food. I never see these things back in the manor. We'll tell a bridge out. Won't be getting back to Battle Clay anytime soon. That was amazing paraphrasing right there. You won't be able to have food for a while. Never be homesick about the manor. Tears like you don't have to stay in this inn. You can like go sleep on the ground. It looks like on the ground? No way. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I mean I'm too selfish. Tears like let's go then. It looks like I'm homesick again. Alright. <laughs> Maybe I can explain now. Apparently I don't have a time limit anymore. Not that I'm partnered, but when I went to upload it said that I could upload minutes longer than 15 minutes. I don't know if that means I can upload like an hour worth of video, but I'm not going to upload much longer anyway. Never getting in like that. So we gotta look around. It's actually something we can do before we progress the story. Sorry, I talked to the reloading screen. We'll get some side stuff out of the way with a side quest here. I think it's this house? Um, nope, not this one. But we do have to go back to that house. There's a save point there. Alright, so Engave basically makes a lot of stuff. So we go in this house here. We're gonna talk to this woman here. And pass is gonna be ready soon. She's on a miso. She asks uh, her son. Looks like a boy there. <laughs> He's reading. Don't distract him. He's got the latest. I don't know. I don't know what book he'd be. Twilight. I don't know. <laughs> he looks like he'd read that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get some miso from the old lady at the well. <laughs> All 
Alright, so we're gonna go to the lady in the watermill, which, old lady. <laughs> Alright, so in here, we got this woman here. And talk to her. Alright. Hey, Granny, give me some miso. Yeah, Luke's got the manners of a. I don't know. He's got no manners. Preparing dinner at the house in the rear. Man, she likes saying in the rear a lot, doesn't she? <laughs> That's twice now. Oh, yeah, I love the anime little uh, emo emoticons there. Alright, I don't. I think there might be stuff in here. I'm gonna take a look. I can't remember if there is. Um, looking like a no. Alright, so we come back to this woman here. And she's gonna be all grateful and stuff. And she's gonna teach us how to make pasta. Wow, that was really loud. So we learned a spaghetti recipe. And she gives us some ingredients. Noodles and milk. We also get regular noodles too. It doesn't say that there, but we get some there. Alright. Is there anything in this house we can uh, procure? <laughs> so I guess I can go over cooking while we're... Well, I just learned a new recipe. Like, why would we learn a new recipe? So you pick your cook. We're gonna pick Luke to cook. He's the main character. Uh, each each character is has different skills at cooking, but you, everyone can get better at it. So we have two different things: rice ball, which you saw them make in the cutscene, brings back your hit points, and then spaghetti. This brings back your TP tech points, technical. Uh, I don't know. It it's how you use your skills, and. Uh, so we have pasta for that. So we're not gonna make it now, but we can set up shortcuts so that after a battle, we could cook different things. So we'll set up to spaghetti and down to rice ball. I guess I could set up for tier two, but we'll just set up for Luke for now. So in our items here, every time you get a new item, it shows you new stuff. So we got, see we got engave noodles and we also got regular noodles. I don't think they're as good. And then milk. We can't use that, but if, uh... And this here's some of this other stuff we got. And this, you'll see what this is later. So notice, there's no milk required for spaghetti. But if Luke gets better at making it, maybe tier, he might gain an extra ingredient that is milk. Which is probably why she gave it to us. So. And that just makes it more effective. So maybe instead of curing 5% of your... TP, it'll record, or it'll cure 8% or something. But anyway, uh, that's a long enough episode for now. Uh, next time on Let's Play Tales of the Abyss, we're gonna get some fighting in, I promise. I guess I might have to leave a fight in. We only did one battle. <laughs> but uh, we'll move the story along and uh, maybe we'll meet some new characters. So I'll see you next time. Bye bye.